Hi guys, it's Rain here and today on my channel, I'm going to be making the organizing video for my school supplies, which I have my backpack right here. So let's just get into it. So I'm gonna start off with kind of just like colored pencils and things like that. Um, I do have highlighter and some lead in here, not that much. And I also just kind of wanted to say that um, in this video, I will be going through my kind of desk, um, my desk organizer. So, yes, which is kind of fulfilled with old school supplies and stuff like that, that I don't think I really use. like how I'm just throwing trash on the floor. Okay, there's, this is like triple. This is like set one and set two. Cause they're all like, they're basically the same. I need to take some of those other pencils out. Oh, oh, it's one of those. Sorry if I'm not talking in this video. I'm kind of just focused. There's my pencil pouch. Um, I have this right here. This is for girl stuff. Kind of came with the bag, didn't know it was in there. So yes. So let me go get all the girl stuff and I'm gonna put it in here. So I'm gonna show you guys what I put in here. So I put two pads, two um, sets of two band-aids, two tampons, Advil, and two Tylenol packets. That's really all I put in here. And then I'm gonna put the absorbent pads in here as well, so I can open them. The absorbent pads, whatever the fuck these do. Removes excess oil and won't smudge makeup, which that happens to me a lot. So yes, so that's in here. Um, obviously I'll probably end up putting more things in here, but for now it's kind of just holding a small amount of things. Can I stick a bit in here? So I'm gonna actually stick up my pencil pouch in there. There you go. So, next step is my planner.
just gonna go in my bag and then uh, bag like so. If you guys do not know, I'm actually getting um, in the mail, it should be in here or in the mail today, but I'm actually, I'm putting my book in here. Um, I'm actually getting a MacBook Pro, so I'm gonna be putting that in my school bag too, just to have. Uh, I think that's it. That's it actually for right now. But if I get my schedule, I will um, do my, um, organize my books and stuff like that. But I'm kind of waiting till I get my schedule, so. Stia, when I got my schedule. So uh, I'm back and I know my schedule now. It is currently the next day. It is 3.15 and now I am ready to um, organize my notebooks and stuff like that according to my classes, which is going to be the first thing I do. And then I'm going to organize this, which organize mean kind of put important dates and non-school days and stuff like that in my planner. And then I'm going to do my binder, which I need to get paper for that. What else do I have in this thing? That's it. That is literally it. So I'm going to go get paper for my binder and I will be right back. So I have my laptop over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, with me because my mom forwarded it to me via email. So yes. That way it's just a little bit easier to uh, um, write things down and then I can look up my um, stuff for um, my school calendar. Okay, so... We're gonna start with this yellow notebook. I really don't give two flying shiznits. Um, shiznits about what color coordinates where I could care less. But if you're color coordinated via class or whatever, I could care less, but you do you. Um, I usually use a Sharpie. You could use pens, it's all good. So my first class is um, economics, um, and then I'm going to put a slash, um, because that's only half a semester, and then I'm going to put U.S. Gov, government, government. And that's what it looks like and then I also put the period number um, for my sake it's gonna be a little bit easier this year with periods because I only have four classes which is really weird to say so period two and then I also put my name um, and it doesn't matter but I'm gonna put my name outside because I think it'll look appealing My writing isn't as good. There we go. So there's one. And then my third period. So I don't know what this is. DIV. Car. Tech. Print. Period three. I don't know what that is, so if you don't know, write in the comments. Because I have another like two weeks, and this is my knee. So 
So that's what it looks like. It's pretty, pretty ugly. I'm just kidding. I'm not that bad. So my next one is A I C E, whatever that means. English. Gen paper one period four. So that's what this one looks like. And then uh, last one, but definitely not least, um, advanced. Topics in math period. Oh, I didn't put my name on that one. Period six. Is that right? Yeah, period six. I put my name on it because sometimes I tend to forget things at school or in my classrooms. That's what they look like. I'm also gonna write my name in my planner, just on one of the pages. So I can label my name, Let's see how pretty. So next, go in August. And I'm gonna use these. Um, the calendar. We also have oh, this type of layout, which I'm going to use. But I'm going to do the calendar first for each month, and then I'm going to uh, do this. So I'll show you the first month, which is August, which doesn't have much on it. So starts on the 31st so that's what it would look like obviously as each month goes by there would be more but um and to remind you I'm still using this notebook but this one or this planner but this planner is just for home purposes um yes because I kind of just want to keep one for school I think that was the problem I was using one for everything and I personally like one for home so kind of just like day-to-day -day things for this one and then only school purposes for this one i don't know if that's just me but yes So that is what that one looks like. Just put school starts. And then if it was, if it was like a day off, I would just write no school that day uh, um, over the entire line. So I am going to get to working on it. And then once I am done, I will come back to you guys and show you guys. So I am done with the planner. Um, that was actually fast. Um, I'm trying to see what else I have. The binder. Not much is gonna be in here to be completely honest with you. Um, it's kind of just a binder full of paper. Um, and then eventually I'll store um, written on paper um, homework, used work, and stuff like that. I just use this single note or binder as kind of just like, a, like throw everything in. So like stuff to bring home and stuff like that. So like I said, there's not gonna be much in here and there's not much to do with it. Yeah, so.
that I have. It's cute, right? So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, give it a big thumbs up. And I shall see you in my next daily or it's just in my daily vlog. My next video. <laughs> Thank you.